Good afternoon. Welcome back, everyone. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader this afternoon is the Reverend Neil Gardner, MABD, Minister of Carangate Kirk in Edinburgh. Thank you. A couple of weeks ago, I attended a concert of Lenten music for reflection. And before it began, the conductor respectfully asked the audience to refrain from applauding at the end so that the sense of contemplation might be allowed to prevail a little longer. I wonder if I might just as respectfully ask you to do the same at the end of this time for reflection. I want to reflect for a moment on the symbol of our parish, yours and mine, here in the Canongate, a cross set amongst the antlers of a stag. It can be seen most vividly on the gable end of the roof high above the front door of Canongate Kirk, but elsewhere too from the war memorial against the Tollbooth to the gates of the palace. It traces our story back through the mists of time to the days of King David I, the son of the saintly Queen Margaret. One day in 1128, the king went hunting in the forest around Arthur's seat, but something went wrong. He came off his horse and was left defenseless on the ground while an angry stag approached its sharp antlers pointing straight at him. The king prayed that he might survive this deadly encounter. And as he prayed, legend has it, he had a vision of the cross of Jesus between the antlers of the stag, which suddenly stopped in its tracks and withdrew quietly to the forest. The king regained his horse and rode back up the hill to the castle, where in his thankfulness for deliverance, he vowed to build an abbey close to the place where his life was spared. And so the story of the Abbey of the Holy Rood, which means Holy Cross in old language, began to take shape all those centuries ago. An abbey that would give its name to the palace that evolved out of its guest house and eventually to this whole part of town. This side of Easter, Christians see the cross as a sign of our thankfulness for deliverance too, from the darkness of sin and death to the brightness of new life and hope. And the cross among the antlers still proclaims to us all the power of the faith that endures through the centuries, through all the challenging encounters of our day, through the horns of every dilemma. <laughs> 